Hello everyone, so today I have a little bit more of a crafty video for you. Um, this is gonna be actually on my photo card organization in the end, but um, I'm gonna be moving my 10 photo card, all of my 10 photo cards to this A5 binder. Um, and I will be I will be moving them from my regular like all of the other grapes that are not BTS binder uh, just because I feel like 10 my love for 10 got to the point where he actually deserves his own binder <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry uh, but what I wanted to show you is how from the normal A4 nine pocket sleeves by Ultra Pro. So I'm using the Ultra Pro and this is the Platinum. Uh, I think they have like a couple different, um, also if you can hear my dog, she's right there. Um, <clears throat> I think they have like a couple different versions of the nine pocket sleeves, but these are the ones that I will be using for this project. Um, so because these are nine pocket sleeves and they obviously don't fit into the um, A5 size binder, I will be cutting them down to this kind of size, which works perfectly in this binder, as you can see. Yep, they're protected from every single side, which is what I always want from my binders. Because honestly, having a binder with like pockets sticking out like this is so annoying and it just makes me worried about the photo cards all the time. Can you please not? Okay, she's just gonna sleep for a second here. She's probably gonna um, go out of my room in a second because she's always like that whenever I film. Um, but I also have uh, these um, A4 size one pocket sleeves, which I will be also cutting down, which is a little bit stupid because I could probably just buy a normal A5 size pocket, but I couldn't find any clear ones. I could only find the ones that have like the little grainy texture on them. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I will be cutting them down into the A4 um, size. Also, this sleeve is super dirty because it was used before um, and I just wanted to try it out if it works. Um, but I think I will be keeping that one at least for a bit. Maybe then I will change it into a new one. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna show you how I cut them. I left only one of these sleeves just to show you how I do it. But it's honestly nothing, nothing, um, nothing that difficult. You honestly just want to cut it down to have these four um, pockets on the sleeve. So you want to cut down the three bottom pockets. Just like this. So you're left with this kind of little sleeve. Um, and then you also want to cut um, off these two pockets. And you want to cut them because you can see like there's these uh, like marks when it closes the pocket so you want to be careful and not cut that, that that out so you want to leave like a little bit of space between where you the between the um part where you cut it off and the little these little marks so you basically are left with something like this as you can see i left like a little edge a little edge um just to be sure that i won't cut through these parts also if you can see like little hair all over the sleeve that's because i have a dog <laughs> um so yeah that's how i do it and with these sleeves i just kind of took this one uh put it like right there to see like where uh these holes are so kind of like this and I just cut it down here and I also cut a little bit of the top and here as well which I'm going to show you in a second because my dog wants to go out of the room so 
I'll be I'll be back in a second. Okay, I am back. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna quickly show you how I do this. So because I'm using this cutting mat, I kind of know where is the straight line if I like put the put the sleeve evenly on the mat. So then I can kind of see where I want to cut it. So I want to cut it around this hole, like so. It doesn't have to be like super straight because I cover it with a washi tape anyways. So I'm doing this on my bed, which is probably not the smartest idea, but you know, we can make it work. So I'm left again with a little bottom sleeve like this. Um, and then I also cut off a little bit of the top part just because I feel like um, it sticks out a little bit too much for my liking. So we'll just go for just like a little bit. Like so. And then I also have to cut this part. So again, just put the the other sleeve in here for a measure and I would make it a little longer just because um, just because I feel like when I put the washi tape it just kind of works a little bit better when there's a little bit of space in here So yeah, again, you're left with a little sleeve like this. And then because I cut off the bottom part and the right side part, uh, it I'm just not having any kind of, um, like, you know, edge here and here. So what I do, I just use a washi tape. This is currently my favorite one, which I am using for literally everything. So I would just put, just like right there, a washi tape on this edge. Uh, maybe let's just try to make it straight. Like this. And then let's just flip it over and put it like that. Again, it doesn't have to be straight. Like, as you can see, it's really not. Um, and that, then the same thing on this edge. Like this. Again, flip it over and flip the little washi tape on this side like this and then if you don't like this kind of edge you can just get a little bit of washi tape and just place it here kind of on top And then just cut this part off. Like this. Um if you're gonna if you're if you put something in here, like a um postcard, it doesn't really matter if you can see that part now, because once you put something inside, you will just see kind of this part and not the part that's on the other side so that's kind of what i do with these uh i'm gonna actually cut these two these two off camera later because they're not like super important right now although i mm, maybe i will maybe i will do it now so i'll see you in a bit 
Okay, so I just cut all of these leaves out and now I have four of these um, and a whole bunch of the four pocket sleeves. So what I'm going to do before I'm going to uh, put the 10 photo cards into my new binder, uh, I'm actually going to put the, the couple of 80s photo cards that I have here. And then I'm going to move on. These are the new photo cards that I have to put out. And then I have to uh, put all of the placeholders, which I already made yesterday. Uh, as well as all of the other photo cards that I already have in my regular binder. But also I bought very recently two of the Dragon Shield um, sleeves. I bought the clear classic ones. And I also bought the pink matte ones. Uh, these were actually recommended by um, Nana Stream, which I'm sure you probably all know. She's a wonderful human being and an amazing YouTuber. I really love her videos. So if you don't know her, you should definitely check her out. Um, but she's always using the Dragon Shield ones and she always recommends them. So I went ahead and actually bought two boxes. Um, and so far I ta I've ta tested only the pink ones and I really like them to be honest. I, Because compared to actually put some of my um some of my ultra pro ones here as well just a couple ones that i had left so this is the difference between them they pretty much look the same like this part looks exactly the same and everything the bags are also pretty similar but the major difference is that the ultra pro ones have this little circle logo on each one of the sleeves and the dragon shield ones are just completely clear which is great because <laughs> um, with the with the um, with the clear ones you can see the difference a lot more because they're just completely see-through uh, and the ultra pro ones they also have this little dot circle logo on them which if you put the logo on the back it really doesn't bother me that much um, but with the with the color ones the ones that have the solid color on the back the circle is all always on the front so in the front so it's just really annoying so what I'm gonna do I'm actually going to I'm actually going to put uh, all of the ultra pro sleeves in the box and I'm gonna sleeve all of the all of the um, uh, ten photo cards into the pink ones, so I can put them into this sleeve and put them into the binder. But as I said, first of all, I'm going to I'm going to put the the couple of um, 80s photo cards that I have. So let me just move everything on the side. And um, I don't really know where I should put the the um, season greetings one. But I do have Sun's Treasure Episode 3 Wave version photo card to put away. So where is he? There we go. Which makes this page almost complete. I'm still missing his treasure episode one photo card, but it's just so hard to find, honestly. Uh, and then I have you know's treasure episode three wave. Which is here. <coughs> Uh, which makes this page almost complete as well. I'm just missing the two first photo cards. Then I have one of Sun's um, MMT photo cards, which I bought um, for a good price because it was damaged. 
see here it's not bothering me too much like it was a good price so i don't really mind but i don't know if i will collect sans um mmt photo cards or just any mmt photo cards to be honest because i don't really order from mmt i bought the both of the new albums like both versions of the new album through a group order and the girl was ordering from mmt uh so i will have two photo cards but i don't know if i want to collect them so i think i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put this one in here with like my original pulls because i also bought um i can't really see that sorry i also bought uh john house photo card from the i can't see oh my gosh i'm so sorry <laughs> from the wave version here but yeah i think i'm just gonna put it here for now so now for the season's greetings um i'm also going to take these out so i think what i'm gonna do because for the bigger items i will leave them in this binder but i'm gonna take these out Uh, so now I have a sleeve for these. I think I'm gonna put them here in the front actually. So let me just put these away for a second. So I have a clear sleeve here, like an um, empty sleeve in here. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually put all of these photo cards. So one, two, three, four, six, eight. And I'm going to put these photo cards into the pink ones as well and put them here into this binder. Because I think that I really like seeing the backs of the photo cards, but at the same time, I really like how the pink sleeve look, <laughs> looks. Um, the pink sleeve. How the pink sleeves look. Um, so it's very hard for me to decide what I want to do because I would love to have all of my photo cards with the pink sleeves but i'm gonna me miss the back so much but it looks adorable the pink back and it also feels like the gaps between the photo cards which i hate honestly this seeing like this photo card from the like um from behind this photo card is driving me crazy but yeah <laughs> I just love seeing the backs of the photo cards. It's making me really happy. But I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think I'm just going to try to like do it with all of my 10 photo cards and see how that goes. Because if I won't mind not seeing the backs, I think I might just like sleeve all of my photo cards with the pink background. Also, I don't quite know how I want to do it. I wish they did a grip photo card for um, for the season's readings as well, because then I would have the space filled in here. But for now, I think I'm just going to put them like that and just have an empty slot at the bottom. I think I might just print out like a nice group photo from the season's greetings and put it there as the placeholder let me know what you do with your binders do you keep your photo cards with the clear sleeves so you can see the the um the backs of the photo cards or do you um sleeve all of your cards with sleeves that have a solid solid color background or do you um, just not sleeve them at all and if you are if you are bothered with the little spaces that are between the photo cards which make you see what's going on behind these photo cards or do you don't mind uh, and you kind of not really care if you can see the backgrounds or not um 
no backgrounds but like you can see what's going on behind a photo card or um because i know also a lot of people don't really do don't really put anything in like a, empty spaces so if they have like one one slot left here they wouldn't put anything in here but because i just hate this i would put a sleeve in here just to have a full page let me know what you do because i'm kind of interested in knowing what other people think about things like this do you get bothered by just like um small things like that or not really let me know um but now moving on to the actual part of this video uh this is my new binder it's just an empty a5 size binder which was super cheap and it's kind of damaged but it doesn't really matter i'm probably going to decorate the the front page anyways um here i just put like these little tags like page tags i don't know what you call them but i just put them here uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm, I'm gonna actually take these out of the clear sleeves and I'm gonna put them all into the pink ones. Just let me see how I put it here. Okay, the dot is on this side. I think I put this one the other way around. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, so, get the four of these and then I also have to take all of these out. So these are all of the photo cards that I have to sleeve with the pink um, background. It's not like that much, that many, um, but I have quite a bit coming to me. So I'm super excited to fill in my binder a lot more, to be honest. But also I already <laughs> kind of um, did the same thing. The other day just to see if i'm gonna like it before like filming this video uh i actually like that's why i had all of the sleeves cut um and prepared and uh i actually put all of the photo cards to the small binder uh the other day and then i had to like take them all out and sleeve them into the um clear clear pocket the clear of uh, sleeves again <laughs> and put them into the big, big binder again just so that i could film this video which is a little bit crazy but i just wanted to you know uh make a video about like moving tennis photo cards into a small binder and giving him his own binder because i feel like he deserves it let me know like who's your who's your ultimate bias and if you have only one or if you have a couple of ultimate biases because i feel like 
I have three ultimate biases, or at least two, because I am. Um, my other ultimate bias is Jungkook. Um, and I feel like San from 80s might be my ultimate bias as well. Um, 80s is definitely my second ultimate group. Um, my second favorite group, along with BTS. But um, I feel like 10 is definitely up there with Jungkook. I just love this man so much. Like, look at him. He's so beautiful. Also, I still have no idea what's the actual order of the Super M photo cards. Because they're just too similar <laughs> to each other. Um, so, I'm probably going to just put them in a random order. So, don't mind me. I'm probably gonna fix that later, but I might just leave it as it is. I kind of want to make them just look nice on the page instead of being worried about which photo card was released when and where it should go into the binder. This is a really, photo pr really pretty photo card as well. Also, I bought this as soon as the season's greetings was released and I bought it for like a really good price it was like I think 11 pounds or something and now I see people selling the with drama pre-order benefit photo cards for a crazy amount of money which is a little bit I don't know I don't really like when people sell stuff for literally like 10 times as much as it was worth, especially with like the um, album photo cards. I don't know, it's just really, it just uh, kind of not really fair, in my opinion. With like pre order benefit stuff, that makes kind of sense because if you haven't pre ordered the photo card, the, I mean, the item from a certain store, it makes sense that you won't have it, so you would have to pay. A little bit extra to get it but with like album photo cards I feel like um, if the album is not out of print how can the photo card be like twice the price of the album with photo card it does, just doesn't make sense to me uh, but yeah these are all of the photo cards it's a little bit thicker than it was before the sleeves are also if you're wondering they're on the thicker side just like the ultra pro ones that's why I kind of I kind of feel like for the solid bag once I kind of sorry prepare uh, prefer the um, dragon shield ones than the ultra pro ones but I'm just gonna put all of these sleeves in for now and with these I'm gonna think once I oh my gosh sorry that was so loud I'm gonna think where to place them as I go with the photo cards because I kind of already planned out where each photo card is going to go so yeah <laughs> um, I don't know if I will speed this part up or if I'm gonna just not talk and kind of make it a little bit more ASMR-ish because um, there's just not really much happening here I'm just gonna do the same thing over and over again for all of these placeholders and all of the photo cards so that's not really interesting to be honest but I'm not sure if there's not gonna be like a lot of background noises so let me just kind of put them in kind of the right order or just like a little bit um, super M and then empathy. Okay, so I don't know. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of the video. Whatever I decide to do. <laughs>
so now I'm going to put these little tags on the photo on the photo cards that I have um, coming my way that I already purchased so that I know that I don't have to worry about them so I have quite a bit of photo cards as I said coming in the mail they're just like really slow at coming to me but that's okay I really I don't really mind waiting that long I also said that um, I won't be collecting the circle cards but now that I think about it it would just look really nice having a full page of the of the photo cards from a release so like with takeoff I would have the takeoff photo card the circle card then the um, tattoo set photo card and then the hollow photo card so I really hope they're gonna do the same thing for take over the moon so I could um, place the hollow PC here and have a nice full page of the take over the moon photo cards because I ordered the um, projector kind of thing uh, that comes with a photo card and I really like this photo card that's why I ordered it and it will also look really pretty with the postcard for take off for um, take over the moon so that's why I bought it <laughs> So this is kind of my finished binder for now. I'm also gonna put um, these in here. And I'm also going to make a little placeholder for the Take Over the Moon postcard. I don't know where I put my favorite pen, so I'm just going to use the pen that I found, which is just a Pilot. Oh, sorry, can you see that? Pilot G2. Point seven. So this is the take over. Oh, it doesn't even write. So this is another one, which is one of my favorites, is the Energel point five in black. But I feel like it's already. <laughs> already used up oh yes it is okay i don't know where is my favorite pen which is a little bit annoying I really don't know where it is, so I'm just gonna use the MG1. And this is the 0.5. Take over the morn postcard. So, um, let me just grab one of these. Also, this has to be on the other side. And also, I'm gonna just make all of them with like the cute little ones. 
like this and not the plain plain paper I don't know it it doesn't really make that much of a difference but you know <clears throat> so the first thing that I want to put is the empathy postcard and I also have the 2019 season's greetings so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually use hmm or maybe should I put the postcard the postcard first and then the photo cards I don't know let's see how that's gonna look so sorry this is so loud but here would go the postcard which I have on the way um, then here we would have the 2019 season's greetings postcard which I also have on the way and then the take off postcard and then um, and then I don't know if the standee is going to fit in here if it will fit into one of these I will probably put it here because I'm not really a standee person I just have like two BTS standees on my shelf and that's that so here I'm gonna put the take over the moon postcard which I haven't purchased yet but I will as soon as I get paid because I'm planning on buying the the full book so I can have at least like one item for every member of Wavy because Wavy is really becoming one of my favorite groups uh, so yeah that's about it um, I'm also I was also thinking maybe um, about like putting putting uh, the postcards um, double-sided so I could have like the um, empathy postcard here and then the season's ratings here or like with this one I could um, I could put the take off here and then the standee like on the other side I don't know we'll see we'll see how that goes um, so yeah I also need to make a cover page for this binder but I think I'm just gonna do it off camera thank you so much for watching I hope you did enjoy this video this binder is like really not full but I hope it will grow um, as we go and um, yeah hope you enjoyed this video I see you in my next one bye